Hello guys, welcome to the Web Epic YouTube channel. Now in this video, we'll be looking at how we can create multi-currency feed by using CTX feed. Please note that we have to use other third-party plugins for us to be able to use this functionality. So without further ado, let's jump in and find out the different plugins that we can use. Out of the third-party software that we can use to create multi-currency feed, this is one of them, WooCommerce Multilingual or WPML. Another one that we have is WOOCS, WooCommerce Currency Switcher by PluginUs.net. And last but not least, we have one by Alia and that is Currency Switcher for WooCommerce. In this particular example, we'll be looking at this particular plugin so we're going to configure this in our site now in our site we can see that we have wpml installed already now if you look into the setup we can see that for this site we have chosen english being the default french and german being the other two options and we have given them language switcher options for english french and german now we're not going to look deep into how you can set up the WML plugin. If you want to look more into it, you can visit their site and look into the documentation. Now that we have WPML, let's go into WooCommerce. Let's go into WooCommerce Multilingual and set up multi-currency settings. So let's click on the multi-currency tab. Once you've done that, you can see that you can enable and disable this. You can also choose the currency that's going to show up depending on the user language that is being chosen. As you can see under our settings, the default is set up as this. However, if somebody comes into our website and clicks this or Germany, we're going to make sure the currency switches from United States to Euros. If you want to add more currency, you can always click on this button and add more. So right now, we are set and we're ready to go. So let's try it out in one of our feeds. Now let's jump into one of our feeds and check if the multi-currency setup that we have created is actually working. In this example, let's jump into custom one and scroll down. As you can see under languages, we have different options available here. The reason we have this option available is because of the setting that you've earlier created under WPML plugin. So as you can see, we have English, German, and French. In this case, I'm going to choose, let's say German. And obviously now because we've chosen German, we don't want our feed to show up the currency USD. So I'll change this to Euros. Let's scroll down. There's another thing that we need to change. That is price. So for price, I need the suffix to be Euro. So I'll type that down. And that's it. So I'm going to update and generate feed. After the feed has been generated, let me download it and see what the price looks like. Now we can see that in the feed generated, the price is showing up as euros down here as well. Now let's go back into product and check if the prices that are actually showing up is showing up correctly. So let's look at the first product, winter basic hoodie. So let's go into product, let's click on winter basic hoodie. Let's scroll down and check how it's set up. As you can see, the price is set up in US dollars, which is 40. Now here you can see that you can see calculate prices in other currencies. So let's click on show. As you can see, the $40 is being converted into euros, which comes out to 49.2. Let's check the feed. As you can see, in the feed, we can see 49.2. Now you guys might be wondering how the conversion rate is taking effect. How do we know that this $40 USD is supposed to be 49.2? If you remember our settings under WooCommerce Multilingual, under the multi-currency settings, when we have set up our currencies, we have exchange rate here. In this case, it is 1.23. And this is the exchange rate that is taking effect when the conversions are being made. So if we go back into our feed, we can see the price is showing up exactly how we wanted it to show. 
So that is it guys. This is how exactly you can create multi-currency feed by using third-party plugins with CTX feed. Now if you have any questions, you're welcome to reach out to us at support at webappick.com. I hope everybody liked this video and found something useful. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I hope everybody has a good day. Thank you very much.